Hello everybody, Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware here. I want to thank you for stopping by to check out NVIDIA's Shield portable gaming device. Before I give you a tour of the Shield, I want to get some quick specs out of the way first. The Shield is based on NVIDIA's Tegra 4 SoC with quad ARM A15 cores and a 72 core GeForce GPU. That's paired to 2 gigs of RAM. There's built-in 802.11n Wi-Fi. Bluetooth 3.0, a GPS, a three-axis gyro and accelerometer built in. There's also a console quality game controller linked to a five-inch screen, which has a 720p resolution. But there's a lot more to shield than just what meets the eye here. So let me pick it up and give you a quick tour. So here's NVIDIA Shield with its lid closed. While I have it in this position, let me show you one quick feature. NVIDIA will actually be selling custom shields for Shield. They just pop right off. There goes the silver one. Here's a black one. And pop right back on. There are magnets in the lid that guide the shields into place, so you can't put them on incorrectly. Works every time, just like that. The screen is right under there. And as you can see, the device is not very big. It fits in my giant bear claws, no problem. It's about 579 grams, so it is somewhat heavy, about eight to nine times the weight of a typical cell phone. And on the front, you can see NVIDIA and Shield badges here with an air vent right in between. Not much on the left except for the pistol grip on the controller, but there is a ton of stuff happening on the back. So you have left and right shoulder buttons and left and right triggers. You have a mini HDMI output, a micro USB port, a combo headphone and microphone jack, and it might be tough to see, but there's a micro SD card slot right there. You can complement the 16 gigs of built-in storage with a micro SD card if you want. There's also a big air vent at the top. There's a heat sink just behind there. Uh, the fan draws air in through the front and expels it out the back of shield. Fan never gets loud at all. The device doesn't even get really hot at all, so you don't have to worry about heat or noise. Not much on that side either. And on the bottom is just some uh, identifying information, serial numbers, stuff like that. So at its core, NVIDIA Shield is really a 5-inch Android tablet with a game controller bolted on. The device is actually running 100% pure Android. There's no funky interface elements or custom skins. It is the pure Android experience. Um, that, in addition to the fast Tegra 4 SoC, results in a really smooth experience. So animations and navigating through Shield is perfectly fast and fluid. Uh, the SoC is rather speedy. If you come by the site, check out the full review, and check out the benchmarks, you'll understand what we mean. So let me show you what some of these buttons do that I mentioned earlier. The, the back, start, and home buttons are self-explanatory. The NVIDIA button here will bring up the games menu. You can go to the Shield Games, the Shield Store to get more games, or link to your PC to stream games. And the volume button brings up plus or minus buttons on screen, or you can just use the slider. And as I mentioned, the right analog stick can also be used to control a mouse cursor. Hopefully you can see that on screen. It is hard to do though, so much easier to just tap the screen to get around. So NVIDIA Shield is obviously all about portable gaming, so I should probably show you some games in action. Let me bring up the Shield menu. I will bring up some Shield games here. Let's start out with a Riptide GP2. I'm gonna turn the speakers way up. Hopefully I can give you a sense of how the speakers sound as well. So as you can see, the graphics look really good, and hopefully you could tell that the speakers also sounded really nice considering how small they are. It truly is console quality graphics in your hand, but let me show you a couple other games as well. So here we have a game called Real Boxing. Um, I'm a huge boxing fan, so this game is of particular interest to me. It's basically controlled with the left and right analog sticks. The left stick is for moving, right stick is for punching, and the shoulder buttons are for grabbing and for dodging. Um, I'm going to turn the volume up and try to do a little damage for you, so wish me luck here.
takes just a second for the game to load. Speculations end here. Time to test both of them in a fair fight. Wish me luck. So one of the shield's coolest features, and most interesting at least to me, is its ability to stream PC games from a PC to the shield. Now to do that, you'll need a few things. First, you need to have the right software and hardware installed in a game PC. You need a GeForce GTX 600 series or newer GPU, along with the GeForce Experience software installed, along with the latest set of graphics drivers. Now the way it works is the GeForce Experience will scan the PC for compatible games, and as long as the machines are on the same network, you can link the shield to the PC through the GeForce Experience software. It's super easy. It's just a couple of clicks. And then the compatible games will show up right in the shield interface here. So here's a, a few of my Steam games that are compatible. I'm going to bring up Left 4 Dead 2. Now when I click that, on the PC, Left 4 Dead 2 is launching just as it would as if I clicked on the icon. So there's the splash screen. Let me turn up the volume in a moment to let you hear it in action. I'll start a single player game so you can actually see some of the animation and stuff. Now this shouldn't take too long, just give it a second. And as I mentioned, it's basically mirroring the PC screen. So what I see on the PC, I'm seeing on the shield right now. Looks like it's heading to the evac center at the mall. Gotta agree. Let's follow them to the mall. So there's really minimal, if any, latency at all. It works extremely well, even though it is still in beta. Um, and also keep in mind, because the Shield has a micro HDMI output, you can connect it to a TV and stream your PC games right to your TV in your living room. It's a really, really cool feature. So just quickly, I also wanted to show you the Shields screen in front of the PC screen, just to demonstrate what the latency is like when you're streaming from the PC to the Shield. So I'm gonna go ahead and move an analog stick and show you the animation. As you can see, it's instantaneous. There is virtually no latency. I didn't notice any while I was playing some of the compatible games on Shield. The streaming, even though it is beta, it does work very well right now. We hope you've enjoyed this quick look at NVIDIA's Shield portable gaming device. For the full scoop, along with some benchmarks and plenty of images, come by the site and check out the full review. Once again, this is Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware. I want to thank you for stopping by.